Good evening, everyone. I'm Peridot Webster, and welcome to TTT News. A new GO-16 satellite receiving ground station commissioned for the Trinidad and Tobago Meteorological Service is expected to complement the recent additions to the TTMS in bringing about accurate and timely forecasting tools for the service. And as Suna Lala tells us, it's not the last piece of equipment the Met Office will be receiving during the next year. Trinidad and Tobago is the only country in the general Caribbean region who now owns its very own GO-16 satellite receiving ground station. It might look like just a normal satellite, but according to Director of the Trinidad and Tobago Met Service, Shakiri Big, the GO-16 satellite receiving ground station will allow the TTMS to receive real-time data directly from it which is equipped with advanced sensors that provide high-resolution images and real-time data. This satellite is moving together with the rotation of the Earth. So the Earth is, is moving and the satellite is also moving and taking pictures of a designated area all the time. And, and most importantly, it means this country's weather forecasters would no longer have to rely on third-party data providers. Previous to this, we had to rely on third-party data. We had to go on websites, we had to go on the U.S. sites, we had to go on several other sites. Now we have our own ground station. Public Utilities Minister Marvin Gonzalez said this is a timely investment in a Met service to complement the recently recommissioned Doppler radar in Brasso Venado. $3.5 million to be able to provide accurate weather information to the people of Trinidad and Tobago and the Eastern Caribbean so that they can take appropriate measures at the domestic level that can save hundreds of lives. He noted this addition lifts the public perception of the Met Service to get reliable and accurate information to protect themselves and criticized certain social media dubbed weather forecasters from doing the opposite. Unsuspecting members of the public believe that that is information that they can rely on and we would have seen, as members of the government, the impact that some of these social media sites can have on information or disinformation. Minister in the Office of the Prime Minister of Communications, Simon de Nobrega, stressed the importance of such cutting-edge technology for the Met Service. What we are seeing is the commissioning of equipment that feeds the data that allows us as uh, government ministers, as ministries and agencies to properly inform a population in a timely manner. And Minister Gonzalez said there may be further incoming resources to enhance the Met Services capacity. A new modern Ranger radar system that will add further support to the GO-16 system, to the Doppler radar system, and we will continue our drive. Sonolala, TTT News.